hi welcome everyone to today's video on R studio and we are going to discuss how to use k-means machine learning clustering algorithm in R for that first of all we will load the data using read excel library then we will load appropriate libraries include tidyverse cluster cluster R for factor extra stats dlookr pastex dlookr is used for uh, removing uh, outliers or finding outliers uh, and past access for descriptive stats cluster r is for the um, clustering and tidy versus for data management so first of all we will, we will remove the uh, missing values because machine learning algorithms does not work mostly does not work when there are any values in the data so in this command it will remove the any values then first of all when we have to make clusters using k-means we need to first of all identify how many clusters we need to identify so for that the elbow method is used we will uh, in this elbow method we will say that from 1 to 10 this method will check how many clusters are optimal it will make it will run from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it will run 10 times and check the the uh, within some square values and see where it is minimum so let's see when we do run this loop it will run the program 10 times and then and when and calculate the WSS values and then if we plot it so you can see that the, the total within some squares are here and cluster so it has dropped drastically at 2 so the slope is steep after that it, it becomes an elbow means a steep and then flat so when you see an elbow that's why it's called elbow method means that the two clusters should be optimal so the shortcut method can be that you can use the uh, fvis number of clusters method it is also saying that there should be two up clusters so what we'll do is in the k-means algorithm we'll start with algorithm and we'll say that the cluster should be two okay so k-means data file variables clusters so when we run this it will run in the background and find the groups and if we print it it will give us the groups for um, the data the mean value for each group for the four variables that we selected from 7 to 10 and then the cluster numbers for first 500 value uh, 5 480 values and then um, the uh, the percentage explained by the clusters and then when we run this it will plot us this data so it is saying that these are in cluster 2 blue ones and red one are in cluster 1 so now this k means clustering has been done so their cluster values can be stored into the same data using this command and if you can go here in df2 you will see that at the end of the file there are ranks available so rank number 2 and there will be some values which has rank which will have rank 1 so th this way now if we can uh, do the cluster wise mean value so if we run this you will have four variables and cluster wise mean values you can also plot their scatter plots using this so in this way if i zoom it you can see how clusters are related to each other so this is the algorithm that is used to do k-means clustering now you will have a new variable which is uh, binomial because i've done two clusters you can do multinomial by selecting more than two clusters and that data can be used uh, as a new variable to identify characteristics in a data which were not measured before so thank you very much for watching uh, do like and subscribe the videos thank you very